Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 13 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emozewa Gamer. So in the last episode I worked on my seed again and they're still not to the point where I want them to be. I also started a little bit of base cleanup because I'm never going to need this uh, lava generator anymore. And yes, Dunk Webb was 100% right in his comment. Most of my lag was coming from the flowing water and lava because since I've taken that out, I have almost no lag and I don't get the waiting for server when opening chests. So that's really good. The problem that I have is I find my base really kind of ugly and really kind of boring. So I want to start rearranging it a little bit and that takes some time. And the problem is that in my time lapse, I want to take care of my seed. So I tacked on tacked on another 20 minute time lapse to my last episode, which brought it to an hour 10. And it's just, it, it's becoming ridiculous how long each of my time lapse have to be because I want to get my seed to 10, 10, 10 so that I can get all of my tier two to start at five, five, five. And then I want to bring my two, tier two to 10, 10, 10 so that all my tier three are five, five, five. So I can bring them to tier 10 just because I want the mystical flower seed to be okay. After that, I honestly am not sure I'm going to care so much and I might just start making all these as, as fast as possible. But that being said, uh, that's going to take a lot of time lapse and I want to get the food out of the way because I, I want to unlock the kitchen and start working with some real food and everything. So I'm just going to show you a couple of things right here. These, uh, this dust, I don't remember the name, this crushed stone dust and this crushed netherrack dust. I'm not really going to transform them until I have a way of doing it automatically because the, the look at the rate. The chance of getting a cobalt dust is so low, Ardite, so low, like everything is so low that it's not worth it for now for me to stand there. So at some point I'm going to be able to automate that, but right not right now. Also these, I think that's the dirty appetite. You get so many of these and look, I got all of this. I got a ton of surface quartz, a ton of dirty black quartz a ton of dirty lapis, a ton of dirty dark gem. Like I'm getting a lot of the other resources, but I did this because I wanted to get some gems and some emerald. So now I have 48 emerald and 70 diamond, not gem, sorry, 70 diamond. So I'm finally in a situation to work forward. 65, um, what's it called again? The nether quartz. So I'm getting some of the resource that I want. But that being said, this is episode 13 and 13 is never a real lucky number. So I was thinking that in this episode, I'm going to make a time lapse. So it's going to be like a 40, 50 minute time lapse episode, which means that time four is going to be the equivalent of, let's say we make it 50 minute. It's going to be the equivalent of 200 minutes of playing, which is three hour and something. And in that time, I'm sure I'm going to get all of those seed to 10, 10, 10 and I'm going to be able to start crossbreeding seeds for level two. And I'm also going to replace the whole floor with non-slabs because now that we have glowstone and I can make glowstone fairly easy. Like if you look at this, let me grab three stacks of that and come back here while I'm in my time lapse. I can spend a ton of time of doing that. You know, I just put, oh, this is no good. I just put this in. And I'm going to need a stone muffler at some point because this is really annoying. So I put this in and it's automatically being converted to um, to the uh, blaze powder, right? So I come back here and I got all of this blaze powder and I already had glowstone. But then I can just go like this and put 64 blaze powder, then 64 new gun powder. And this is slowly being turned into redstone. And then I can turn the redstone into glowstone. And the reason I want to do that is that for my playthrough, so just one second, come back here, push this in here. So for my my floor, I have this idea. I want to build some kind of a pattern. So let me grab a stack of this, a stack of this, and let me get my chisel, which if I remember here, yes. Oh, wow, this is noisy. Let's go as far as I can from this. So I can chisel these into... Uh, those kind of cobblestone and these stone I can chisel into 
There's nothing that really impresses me out of stone. And considering how expensive stone is to make, I don't think that I'm going to be using any stone for that. What I'm going to be using it for, though, is this. I'm getting to a point where I have enough iron that I don't care to spend a little bit. So if you come here, you have these that you can do. Oh, sorry. Like so. With stone around. And that makes us... Uh, I always reverse that recipe. That gives us factory block. Two stacks of factory block. And the factory block, look. They have this crazy amount of things. So what I was thinking is that I'm going to build like some kind of a corridor. Like my walking place. Like where I actually walk are going to be made out of these wire frame, I think. And then once these are made out of wire frame, I might end up with a pattern like this. Um, let me show you quickly. I'm not going to do the glowstone though because I don't want to screw up. I, I don't want to lose it because whenever you break glowstone, you actually lose the glowstone. So let me go here and walk this way and I'll give you an idea. Oh my god, this is really badly placed. So let me come back here and show you what I mean. So imagine that this is a glowstone block. So I'm going to put a glowstone block here and I'm thinking of going around like this with the white luminous panel because I want to give it some kind of a clean factory look like a, a clean floor look and then I'm thinking that for my alleyways I'm going to do this three wide let me go back there and then I would just go on the other side and replicate the look like so And another glowstone in here. And like this is where I walk to go wherever I want. And these would be places where I build stuff. And I did this six long on purpose because I'm thinking of doing it like this. And then if you come back here, same pattern. Like so. Uh, and another glowstone in the center. So it would be something like this. And the reason I want to do it like this is that... I want to use, oh, this is an idea I forgot about. Wait, 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 wait. I think I have a better idea for something different. Hmm, what could I use? I'm th trying to find something that would look nice. I, I think maybe the zag or the trodden brick. I'm just trying to look at them very closely. Or the big tile. I've always loved the big tile. So here a moment. Let me do this. Let's break. <coughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's break all of this. And my or excavate. Okay, perfect. And this and this. And I might just do this in the center. One row like this in the center. And then three. Oh. I'm missing one right here. Then if I go up here to jump up, uh, the auto jump keeps getting reset. I don't know how. I don't know what I did wrong, but it keeps getting resetted. So, sorry. The reason I was saying that is that I want to use this middle track to actually build um, where that's where I would put stuff. So, let's say that I want to put these table, these crafting table. I would put on this surface. Why? Because this glowstone will eliminate everything around properly and I'll just be able to use that space for whatever building I want. And I would try and always make sure that anything I craft goes within these delimiters like this. So if I had my my tinker set up here, I could have tinker tinker, the chest tinker tinker and a crafting table like something in a corner like this. And having the glowstone there would eliminate it properly. I want to do this at the right level, of course, because that would be ridiculous. So giving you an example here, I'm going to keep my drawers there. I'm not going to move the drawers from there. So if I put the pattern right here, I would have these bricks under the drawer. And then let me change back to the white one. And then I would have, uh, let's start from the corner here because I want to make it look as pretty as possible. I would have this right here and you know what since this is something more permanent that I'm going uh, that I'm going to keep I'm going to make one set of glowstone to show you so for the glowstone for like this and after looking at my test world at multiple look this uh, where is it oh 
Oh, I don't remember if it was that one or that. I think it's that one. This is, I think, the one that I... Yeah, that's the one I like the most. So do you see how it illuminates everything around? It means that I'm good here. So let me just go back here again. And I need more cobblestone just to finish the pattern to show you. And I should have done it there the first time that I know that it's uh, working properly. So I'm going to do so many like this and nine of the... Was it big tile or panel that I made? Big tile. Okay. And this would come around like so. And right here. Like so. So one, two, three, four. Oh, I don't have enough. Let me just transform another 32. I just want to finish the setup to sh give you a good example of how it would look. So like this, and then the next setup is one... Ah, I almost fell off. So there's one thing in this mod pack that I haven't shown you because I didn't want to waste the time, but when you fall, if you're full on uh, life, well, you don't die to the void. You basically just go around until you circle the map and then you're going to fall and you're going to take a crazy amount of fall damage. But since you're able, you're full life, you should be able to survive. Let me just do like so and finish this right here and put another glowstone right here. So glowstone, this one, and do this. Perfect. So just like this all around. And I would pro put another set of three right here and like so so one two three one two three so here that's where i would have my runway path and if you look at it the runway path would work up to this portal so the next three one two and three would be these factory block like so oh wow I can't believe how well that worked. Look at that. It's perfectly lined up. But basically, that's how the floor would look going down this way and coming back. And, hmm. So it's not a perfect match because I forgot one little thing. This one wouldn't be here because I would have this here. I always have this surrounded by the place where I can build stuff. So actually, this one... And this one has to go because here I'm going to have this one. Oh, yeah, sorry. And then this one. And then if I come back here, one, two, four. The third one's going. And then I would have boop, boop, like this. And then this one right here. So that's kind of the pattern for the floor that I'm looking. And then in between every two or three, I would just make a walkway in the other direction. But that's how I feel I'm going to build this whole thing, just to give it like a, a nice look, but at the right level. So I'm going to be working on that for a little while, and I'm going to be doing this at night. Like now I kind of wasted my whole day to try and show you what I wanted to do, but that's what I'm going to be working toward. I'm going to be building my pathway like this and building my platform in that manner right there so that everything looks super clean and I have place to work everywhere. Then these that I'm going to build, I'm going to make sure that there's always kind of a scaffolding around. So that, uh, sorry, or around, or maybe, I don't know if it's going to be in the front or in the back, but I want to work some kind of scaffolding so that I can easily access any place that I want. Let's look at scaffolding. I've There's one that I found that I've never tried. Like the, there are these aluminum scaffolds. And uh, there's these scaffolding from Factory Tech. So I've never tried these. Let me try one set of these. I just want to see what they look like. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And yes, I have wood enough. So let's come here. I need to make these iron bar. And what was the recipe again? I kind of lost track. So three like this. One, two, three. And then the wood on top. Oh, that makes one. <laughs> That's kind of expensive. Let's build two. And I want more than two. Let's make a third one. And there's a clear reason for that. In other kind of mod packs, usually scaffolding is something that you can climb. 
And that's kind of what I want to check. I want to see if I come here and I put a scaffolding right here. Aw, oh, rain, really? Let me go around. So if I put a scaffolding like so, no, this is not a climbable scaffolding. So I'm glad I only made three. I'm not sure I like them. I might use them in my factory downstairs, but now there's these scaffolding wood. I don't know how solid those are. Let's just test those quickly. One, two, oh, I got three. So 16, that's going to give me two only. Let's make four. They're cheap enough that I don't really mind. So four, oh, 32, okay. <laughs> and these, oh, you can't climb those either. So don't quite see the point of those. And the last scaffoldings are the aluminum scaffolding. But there's this one, scaffold covered ladder. It's a metal ladder and an aluminum scaffolding. Aluminum rod. Okay, so that might be a little expensive. Let me just look at aluminum. Aluminum. Oh, sorry. Aluminum. And aluminum is... Uh, aluminum alchemical... Oh, yes, there is. How is it? Oof. Enriched bone meal and blaze powder. And enriched bone meal. Oh, it's not that expensive. And it makes four. So you know what? I'm going to make some of the uh, scaffolding, although let me just check. Scaffolding covered ladder means a metal ladder. Okay, so it's not that expensive. And the aluminum scaffolding is made, how? It's made from three rod and three aluminum, but it makes six. So you know what? I think that for access to these, I'm going to use scaffolding just because of how cool they are. And I'm gonna try to put things, and that was my hole. So now I fell and I get to show you what I mean. See, I'm traveling forward as I'm falling. So I'm just going to try and hit something. And, oh, almost die. So that was a great derp. I wanted to show you that I did it on purpose, guys. It was 100% totally legit on purpose. Yeah, no, it wasn't at all. And you, sir, blocked. <laughs> So it's funny that I decided that I wanted to explain that to you in this episode and it actually happened. So sorry, what I was going to say is that see how I built this as a tower behind? Well, I don't want it behind. I'm going to put it aside because what I actually want to be able to do is I want to be able to, um, I want to be able to face everything. So I want to build like a scaffolding, let's say at this level, and then be able to climb up on my scaffolding and then just go like this all around to be able to access all of the inventory and if it goes so high that there's a second level even go to the second level also as part of this whole build i wanted to duplicate my uh, condenser i, I want to make more condenser because i want to be able to produce more metal faster and i think not 100 percent sure about that but i think that if i put this in the middle here that it might feed slowly both if it doesn't work, then I can always space them one by one and fill these two and have a way of splitting the crystal shards between the two. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I'm probably going to try and find a way because I want to get more metal and I want to get this working. And then this, I want to bring back to this side where it's together so I can act easily go from one to the other. You know what? I don't know what I'm saying. I don't need this one anymore. This one's over. Because of the osmium casing, I'm good enough. So I might make two side by side just to be able to make more stuff. Because as you see, now this is done. So what's the next step? How do you get glowstone? Glowstone you get from combustion of blaze powder and redstone. So if I go like this and put this much redstone and this much blaze powder, now I'm producing glowstone. And this goes much slow, much slower because it needs a lot more fuel. But I can always continue some more so that I can fill all of my floor with these proper light up tile. So that's it. I wanted to take a couple of minutes. That was actually 20 minutes. So wow, that was long. And I'm going to add 40 minutes of time lapse to that to make it an hour episode, which means, like I said, 40 is the equivalent of 160 minutes, which is like three hour. Uh, no, it's not exactly three hours. It's a little bit less than uh, three hour because three hours, 180 minutes. But anyway, 
I, and in the three hours, I should have the time to do a lot of setup and just start making things look really nice. Oh, do I really? Yes, one last thing. One, one last thing quickly, because that's a tip and trick from uh, Creator 8. I'm gonna build this bag storage and I'm gonna build it with you right now. So I need some chest. One, two. Oh, only one left. I need two iron, how many is it? Oh, it's just one chest. So I have everything I need to build it. I'm going to make this like so, and the stone around. And this is a bag storage. And the reason this is amazing is that, look at this. Come back here, let's find some bag. Take all of these bag, go in here, all of the bags go in, and they count toward a value. They count as a value of 343 bag. And I can make 343 common loot bag, or I could make uh, 343 divided by four uncommon loot bag, or 343 divided by 16 rare loot bag, 343 divided by 64 epic, or 256 for the legendary. So I'm gonna look at the tables to find which would be better, and then artifact, which is 1024. But I'm going to look to what would be better to get, because this here, breaking them down any type of bag, doesn't necessarily give the best loot. And finally, and I, I know that I keep saying finally, and it's been like 12 finally in a row, but again, I'm really excited and I wanna show you a crazy amount of stuff. Oh, do I have any uh, glass? Glass, 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 one glass, wow, that's lucky. And finally, I wanna make this pipe, the diamond transport pipe, because I'm going to set up a diamond transport pipe back there to be able to split the loot. And what I wanna do is bring some things in the drawer controller right here that goes into that. And I wanna be able to split the pipe, the bag. So that's kind of a bit complicated to use. I'm gonna set it up, but I'm going to explain it in the next episode in detail. I'm really going to show you how it works. And then finally, finally, real finally, finally, I made some more hopping bonsai pot for two reasons. Well, one, I'm not covering all the trees here. I have the birch, I have the dark oak, and I have the spruce, but I'm not doing any of these and so one, two, and the jungle. So I wanna set up one for these and one for the jungle just to be able to get some of that uh, loot. And I think that I can just put it on top here. So I would put this on the second level and had a hopper. But the main reason why I want a crazy amount more is that I wanna take this and I wanna transform it so that when I produce my coal, the place that I produce my coal, it's all automated. See, I'm out of wood and I'm out of fuel. So I wanna put some bonsais just to be able to max the amount of wood that I get in here. And with the max amount of wood that I'm getting, just throw it down. And what I'm going to do for that is probably use a drawer controller and have everything feed into a drawer controller so I can have one drawer of each type. But I'm going to automate the production of charcoal for sure. So guys, that's been a lot of explanation, but now you have a good idea of what I wanna do and where I wanna go. And I'm going to take full advantage of this long time lapse to take care of the seed and take care of all of the base. So when you come back, this should look amazing. Unless you're looking at me build it and you'll see how many times I fall under. But it's going to be, I think it's really going to be cool. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.